Well, tonight, concern is growing for Colorado families who rely on a critical autism therapy for their children. The specialized providers continue to close their doors or leave Colorado. Ten companies have closed, gone bankrupt, or left the state because they say the Medicaid reimbursement rates for services are not sustainable. And as a result, providers say roughly between 650 and 1,000 patients have already lost services. CBS Colorado reporter Karen Morfitt is on our investigators team, joins us tonight. She's been following the fight for families that are taking on to protect access. And Karen, the next rate adjustment is not set to to happen until next legislative session. And Karen, families and their provider and the providers say if something doesn't change soon, they're worried more centers will be closing. And ultimately, state lawmakers have the final say after a request is made by the state health care policy and financing department. They get a recommendation first, though, from a review committee for next year's budget, which is why some are calling for an emergency rate adjustment. Five-year-old Malachi Seth has a lot of interests, but he loves being a cop. Do you have the same sunglasses? Yeah. Like In full uniform. Yeah, yeah, strong boy. He feels stronger than ever, but mom and dad, Christopher and Heidi, know that strength is inside him. So Malachi was born at 30 weeks prematurity, weighing two pounds, two ounces. Years later, the family was given an autism diagnosis and immediately started applied behavioral analysis also known as ABA therapy. Since then, his development has soared. He's more open at talking to people when he first meets them. It's been night and day. Now the companies providing that care are leaving Colorado in droves. The family center, Hope Bridge, is one of the latest to close their doors. It could take months for him to get comfortable with someone. The reason? Providers say Colorado's Medicaid reimbursement rates are not keeping up. They sounded the alarm just as the state's review committee was set to meet in July. Dr. J.J. Tomash, director of Behavior Span in Aurora, told us then that Colorado is approaching a care crisis. If we have to wait another year, there isn't going to be autism services in Denver anymore. The state's joint budget committee would ultimately have to approve any increase. Representative Shannon Bird, who sits on that committee, says they're listening. It matters that they've reached out to us um, to understand what's happening in real people's lives. And if we know that we're not doing what we need to do to get people the care they need, it's a priority for us to fix this. The discussion now is to raise rates by roughly 20 percent to reach 100 percent of the benchmark, which is an average of rates from 10 other states adjusted for cost of living but if approved, wouldn't take effect until next summer. I wouldn't foreclose the possibility of um, something else that we can do in tandem with um, the administration. <laughs> in the meantime, the Seth family, like hundreds of others, says they'll continue to support their child the best they can. We just feel absolutely powerless. A spokesperson for Colorado's Department of Health Care Policy and Financing, or HICPUF, says their analysis has Colorado at 93 percent with a 7 percent increase to reach that benchmark. He says they are set for a budget status hearing with lawmakers next month, and departments at that time can ask for more money from the state this year, but, Karen, it doesn't happen often. Oh, stay with this. Keep Absolutely. us posted. Thank you, Karen.